This is the part two of keyword research. And if you have not watched the part one, I will leave a link in the description. You can go and watch it. So let's get into deep keyword research and how I optimize contents and how do I rank. So this is the fourth video in this channel. And I just published it on 8th of October. The keyword, there are two keywords based. One was why are my YouTube shorts getting zero views? And another one is why I suddenly stopped getting views. So these two keywords, I have merged into one. And this is a smart SEO tactics where you can rank on multiple keywords with the same video. And I published it a few hours ago. And let's see where do I rank. So you see it's a very brand new channel. But all my keywords have ranked number two, number three, number four. And most of them are at number three. And this is a quite a competitive keyword. And a lot of YouTubers who wants to sell their courses, they are targeting this kind of keywords. So to see these keywords, whether ranking or not, so why are my videos not getting views? I can see myself here. So let's count. The first one is an ad, so it is zero. The first place is taken by Think Media, who has 3 million subscribers. The second place is taken by Colin Michael, and uh, who has also 312,000 subscribers. Third comes an ad, and here is my video. You can see I'm ranking at number three. The next one is zero view problem. Again, this is an ad. I will not count it. Number one is Robert Benjamin with 768,000 subscribers. This is an ad and I am ranking somewhere around five or six here. The third one is YouTube Shorts not getting views. This is a sponsored post. It's number one is VidIQ who has 1.97 million subscribers. Number two is somebody with 41.2 thousand subscribers this is an ad and here comes number three so you can see with proper seo you can really rank your keywords higher in the search result so now what i'm going to show you is i will just publish one post straight away and see if i can rank on that keyword or not this is the keyword apple cash versus cash app versus venmo versus zelly these are basically a uh, peer-to-peer payment apps i have written a very good description here it's quite long and very detailed i added a nice thumbnail I have put all my keywords. So now let's publish it. So it was scheduled. So I will publish it now. So this video is published. I will refresh it a couple of times. And you can see I haven't watched this video after it has been published. So now let me go down and see if I've ranked any keywords or not. Initially, it might doesn't show until the ranking comes. Here we go. So I have already ranked on Venmo versus Zilli comparison. Cash app fees explained at number 13. But Venmo versus Zilli fees number 3. Zelly pros and cons number three. Apple Cash versus Zelly number one. Let me check it. All right. Here it has ranked in page one, but in the actual YouTube search result, it is showing somewhere down here. Zelly versus Venmo 2025. Yes, it shows number one. So this is how we can optimize keywords to rank in YouTube search. Now I will show you how to find this kind of keywords and how to optimize them. So now when I'm talking about keyword research, let me show you the tools that I'll be using. I'll be using SEMrush. I'll be using both the features of SEMrush. One is the domain overview and one is the keyword magic tool. So I've opened them. I also will be using VidIQ along with YouTube's auto suggest method. Let's say Christmas is coming and we want to do something about Christmas and so that we can really get some good views from our channel. A lot of people will be interested in Christmas and uh, let's see how we can find a keyword which is targeting Christmas and we can get some real good views. Here I went to the keyword magic tool of SEMrush and I typed Christmas gifts and I'm trying to find what kind of keywords can I find. All right. So here are all the keywords but I want to find something which is a little bit long tail so that it's easy to rank. Here I find something most popular Christmas gifts 2023. But remember, these kind of keywords are very good keywords because if you write something about most popular Christmas gift 2024, that will be a good catch. So let's find it through auto suggest method. All right. So let me see how many videos are already there on this keyword. For that, I will use Control F. So it's there are six results in the search page of YouTube. So obviously, this is the first one. The next one is this one. You can see with my cursor. Third one, fourth, fifth sixth so there are six most popular christmas gift 2024 but none of them is a title here so what are the titles on this keyword Ten most popular christmas toys for 2024 and i can already see it's an ai generated video again my targeted keyword is most popular christmas gift i'm not talking about toys so yes this is a good opportunity what will be the top toy again they're talking about toy 40 best christmas gift ideas here is one who, whom you have to compete with 100 plus christmas gift ideas for teens boys he has only 810 subscribers 
if you do a better video, you can beat this video. Another one is Christmas gift ideas, top picks for everyone in your list. He has only got 165 subscribers. I can find this is a very good keyword and I will verify it again in, in uh, Rapid IQ. It says there is 1313 search volume and the competition is high, but that's fine. I mean, uh, here I'm not coming here to check the competition. I just want to see that whether this keyword has a search volume or not. And definitely this will have a search volume. Now to get more specific, when I come to related keywords, there are some additional work to make it long tail. So I can find one here, Christmas gift ideas for teen boys. If I click this one and go to the search page of YouTube, I paste it in 2024. I will see how many videos are there in the search page now. Okay, so if it has a lot of videos, so what about teen girls? So I don't think this is a very good keyword. Let's find something else. Well, Christmas gift ideas for grandma. Let, let me check that. First of all, keywords everywhere is showing that it has a 14,800 search volume, which is very high. So even if you don't rank at number one, two or three, even if you rank at five or six, you're still going to get some views. So if I add up with in 2024, what does it happen? Okay. So this is the right keyword for me, I believe. Again, control F. Okay. There are five and I, I believe none of them is targeted by anybody. So here is the best keyword you can target. Now I will again check it in bid IQ. It seems like a little bit lengthier process, but again, think about it. I mean, if you make a video, it takes around three to four hours to shoot it, another two to three hours to edit it. And after that, you publish the video and nobody watches it because it doesn't rank. It's very frustrating. But with my method, though it is a little bit time consuming to find the right keyword, but once you start ranking, I mean, you start getting views immediately. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Let me check. It has a 1366 search volume. So it is a keyword. So definitely I'm going to take this keyword. Now let's talk about making the video, which you will do the way you want to do it. You will talk about different Christmas gift ideas for grandma. But now, once you're done, I'll come to ChatGPT and I will say, give me 20 cats to rank this keyword on YouTube search and I'll put the keyword here. So it has already given me around 20 tags, which I'm going to use in my video. But you know, your video tag should be within 500 characters. So it will be more than 500 characters. After that, I will reduce uh, one or two. I will remove one or two. I will just ensure that it doesn't cross the 500 character. Let me read my prompt. Now here is my prompt. I will read it for you. Don't worry. I have written here, based on the above tags, make a description, a click for the title, 20 hashtags using all the tags and rewrite the tags, removing the numbers and with a comma. Also write a summary of the voiceover in 10 sentences. For the description, ensure to put all the tags minimum twice. Here you go. It has already made a very beautiful title, 20 perfect Christmas gift ideas for grandma in 2024, thoughtful and affordable holiday gifts. It has written the description, which is very much targeted to the Christmas gift for elderly grandma or Christmas gift for grandma. It has made all the hashtags on the topic. It has also made some additional words if you want to include it in your description. Okay, now what to do? Just you have to go, you have to make a video, upload in YouTube, write, copy this description, copy the hashtags, copy the tags, and boom, immediately it's ranked number one or two in the search term. So that's all for today. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Also, let me know what kind of more tips and I can make videos on regarding SEO and how to grow your YouTube channel. I mean, when it comes to growing YouTube channel, I only know how to do proper SEO. The rest of the things will depend on when YouTube will start suggesting your videos. But if it doesn't happen immediately, at least with targeting these kind of keywords, you can immediately start getting some momentum in your channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.